tell you what, Tits. It's what? got a bit full in here with three people, isn't it? It has, and you take up the space of two at the best of times. I so, know. I can barely yeah. fit in your toilet to record these these <laughs> days. Can't believe it. Just a regular Tuesday. Should we get on with it? I think so. Right, let's go. Tits, how are you? I'm fab, how are you, Miss Georgie Porgy? I'm very well, well, welcome back to Up The Arse. That's it, another episode, another week gone. Time's yeah. flying by, isn't it? Flying by, honestly. Blue. These two salty showgirls yeah. just on the go in Greece, yeah. living their best life. Yeah. You're on well, one not, boat to another. It's not two now, it's three. We've got three, three salty showgirls <gasps> today. I know! <laughs> Look at that. Who Look. are you? What's your name and where'd you come no, from? No, we'd be oh. nice on this show and we oh, introduce people, honestly. Yeah. What's, what his, are you like? what's his name? So, <laughs> oh. <laughs> we of course have the fabulous <laughs> DJ Billy Andrew. DJ Billy Andrew. Hello, 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 hello. How are you? How are we all? I'm, I'm good, fabulous. how are you? Do you know what? This is my first ever podcast that isn't my own. I'm, by, I'm like by myself. Normally I come as a pair. Yeah, me yeah. and me and, and can I just say the first thing you did say when you came in was, "Oh, this is a lot more technical than I thought it was going to be." Do you know what? Because so you, wh- <laughs> because you both said was like, "Oh yeah, we've got low budget," but you've yeah. got you. <laughs> <laughs> well, in my mind, I'm like, "What did you expect?" We were just sat with a, an iPhone. Billy, in our, yeah, Billy yeah. walked in. There's four assistants. There's a full <laughs> yeah. buffet. First of all, well, that said, went the minute he walked in. <laughs> we went, oh, you've got two microphones. I thought you were just huddling around the one. Yeah. Yeah, 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 I did think that. I thought you'd have cup with a bit of string and like let. Did you laptop? I got it. Put up with a bit, bit of string. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 2020 <laughs> bloody three. I know. Yeah, I'm, no. I'm, I'm having a fucking ball. Yeah. Are you loving Thank it? Thank you for having me. Cheers, You're girl. Welcome. Oh, she's drinking. Have a drink. Go oh, on. that's it. Have a good sip. Oh, God, yeah. What is it? Water. Toilet water. Yeah. 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 Nice. Straight out toilet. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I pissed in the toilet before as well. You dirty bugger. Do you know what? Once a piss queen, always a piss <laughs> queen. <laughs> <laughs> she's right. Oh, well. that's what your tattoo says. Yeah. I was trying to make it out. No. Oh. So it's a Britney Spears femme for telling. It's FF, and all I ever get is, oh, is that Foo Fighters or is it FF like? Um, fisting fist fun luckily i did get into fisting so it does yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It works <laughs> exactly. up, two birds one stone <laughs> exactly actually moving on what the bloody hell are you wearing this week miss georgia oh Parker? well you know what i've really gone all out because you know dj got a guest in the house here. Yes. yeah and um i've gone for something you know extravagant some might say expensive i don't know who would but yeah um and what i've got i've got a jumpsuit on uh-huh. So the jumpsuit I've got on is completely rhinestoned, head right. to toe. Um, but it's not rhinestone with rhinestones. It's rainbow drops. Oh. Do you know those rainbow drops you get right. from shop? Absolutely. So I love what, them. What them, I've done. Them corn puffs. Yeah, corn, corn puffs. Don't yeah. call me that. <laughs> what are they? It's they are... Pride Month, you nasty bugger. <laughs> <laughs> it is, though. It isn't like the, the corn puffed snack that has the rainbow fuka around. Yeah. Well, you oh. can see it. I'm wearing it. Yeah, well, I can smell um, it. So I would <laughs> eat them by the bucket load. Oh, I still would, it. actually. Where have they gone? The, oh, I've used them all. Oh, well, yeah. that's, it. <laughs> that's it. I had to go to every corner shop <laughs> in Manchester <laughs> just to get yeah, Just to cover the back. Drops. Yeah. yeah. Excuse oh. me. <laughs> Honestly. The good thing is it's dead lumpy and bumpy, so I haven't had to tuck. And, and your psoriasis blends right in. Yeah. It looks yeah. gorgeous. <laughs> <laughs> it's eczema. Um, <laughs> I've got some E45 in my bag, love. You oh, can have Whap it on. On my feet, of course, I've got a pleaser. A Never pleaser. go anywhere without a pleaser. Strip a heel. Yep. And then I've just got a ginger pussycat wig on. Fab. The top. And two jump cables for earrings. Two jump cables for <laughs> earrings. You never know when your bus might break down. Well, you know what I mean? I have to say bus. Um, <laughs> now, opposite me, Titty Carco, look very statuesque. Statuesque. Well, I've done something different, actually. So the wig, it's very unlike me because it's got a bit of volume and when i say yes. volume think marge simpson on acid yeah you know we've got it's at least three foot yeah is so there anything I, inside it it looks no, like you could no well you know you see them videos where they have the cage in and they pulled the thing down and there's a, a glass in. of wine and there's a bird, a bird. and all that yeah. shit yeah. no none of that couldn't afford that you got a glass of yeah. white birds <laughs> <laughs> Got some wine. Billy's budget through the roof. Yeah, <laughs> that's it. So it's quite a tall, thin, of a platinum blonde. You know, describing me now. Finger wave curl <laughs> coming over the forehead. There, I've actually done my makeup today, so that's nice. A bit yeah. of a lash, lip, and uh, obviously a really good, strong shoulder pad, purple sequin, right down to me. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> 
Speaking of which, Speaking excuse of me. me. Oh, bloody hell. So, uh, yeah. Oh, oh, oh. 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 And you know someone commented the other day, are you actually recording on a ship, though? Yes, we bloody we are. are. You can hear the fog on now. Case some point. That's oh, just what happens when Billy walks backwards. That's a <laughs> fucking bitch. Brass band. Yeah. <laughs> 76 <laughs> trombones. You know how many more times they're going to blow this up? We're know. leaving. We get it. And uh, uh, Ella Duker on the show. And Ella so. Duker on the show. Yeah. And uh, overlooking at Billy, Billy, it looks like you've just come from Bear Week. Bear yeah. Week? Yeah. yeah. Well, I am in my gorgeous leather harness. Ooh. Yes. Um, I've got that, um, do you know them little leather jock straps on? I yeah. Do, the yes. one with the easy access at the front and the, the back. Pops. The, pop the pops. The pops. The pops. Do you know, I, I, tried the, I, I actually tried one of those poppers the other day. Right. Do you know, and well, not the it? other day, sorry. It was like the other week. Right. Yeah. I couldn't believe it. What, what? like a snap popper? Yeah. Like it, Sensational, isn't it? Yeah. It is the best jock strap you can buy. Yeah, oh, just specifically on a jock strap. You, I, thought you'd, I thought you've never seen one before in your life. <laughs> no. And yeah. you thought, this is new, this. No, I this have is some my... kind of technology. This <laughs> is cotton <laughs> braids and times, buttons. Times have bloody buttons changed. Are gone. Let me are tell gone. you, buttons are out, pockets, that's old news. That's all about the popper. <laughs> No, I love a popper. Specifically on a jockstrap. Yeah, we strap. love popper. Specifically on a jockstrap. Oh, love yeah. that. And That's then, what I'm in. And then bare feet, but they're just a bit muddy. Yes. Yeah, yes. Been muddy cruising. feet. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Been down Trinity well, Way. I've been down Trinity Way before. And I was like, where's, where the fuck's the people? There was I no didn't one see... there. Not a soul. So Maybe for... I was at the wrong bit. Maybe this well, one coming. Well, Titty, I don't <laughs> think... Do you know what Trinity Way is? Not a clue, never it's heard like of It's like the cruising place to go in Manchester, Oh, do they have ships there as well? Oh. 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 Oh, <laughs> what it is? <laughs> it's it's a off. load of gay men sucking each other off. Um, <laughs> Never bloody. But off. yeah, no Trinity Way is the famous one. But you might have been at the wrong bit. I think I went to the wrong bit, and I, and I did go at like Friday afternoon. Well, that's like, when maybe it's that's, busy. Oh, how is it? Well, it weren't and when Sundays, I went. Sundays. I mean, they all hid in the bushes. I know. So. <laughs> Smell me. <Yeah. laughs> so, <laughs> we don't like the bloody Foo Fighters. Yeah. Fuck <laughs> off. <laughs> he had a boombox playing Foo yeah. Fighters. Yeah. Oh my god, stupid cow. Well, of course, as always, you're never going to see what we're wearing. Absolutely no not. No picture, no evidence. So you'll have to imagine it best you can. Yeah, unless you yeah. go to Billy's OnlyFans. Well, that's it. Uh... So, of course, Billy, you come from, uh, you know, you come from another podcast, The Gossip Gaze. I do, yes. Uh, with uh, Danny Beard, mm -hmm. Fab Danny Beard. And well, I have I to that. say, I wanted to do a podcast because I listened to The Gossip Gaze. Yeah. Yeah, I just needed to find someone desperate enough, and here she is. And here I am. <laughs> here city girl. Yeah. Bloody muggins here, doing all the work. Do you know what? I'm exactly the same. So I'm like you. So when I started my podcast, I got the equipment. Yeah. I edited, yeah. I wrote the theme tune, sung the theme tune, yeah. Yeah. and then... Well, now, three years down the line, look who's getting all the credit. I know. Yeah, yeah. No. bloody us. <laughs> <laughs> but you you did say, Georgie, that you'd move to Manchester because of my podcast, so... It's did true. you actually? Yeah. Well, the thing was, during the pandemic, I was listening to the Gossip Gaze. Yeah. I remember because I was second shelves overnight in Waitrose, right? Yeah. Oh, I probably shouldn't say Waitrose. Other, other brands out. available. Um, yeah. I was working in that shop yeah. with all the Tories. Yeah. And uh, <laughs> me, mum and dad. Yeah. And uh, I was working in there and I was working overnight and it was awful. So I thought, do you know what? I listened to a podder, listen to a podcast. Yeah. I just That's typed in like gay podcasts, I think, to like Google and the gossip gays came up. Fun. Obviously started listening, loved it, listened to it from the beginning. I think that must have been like 30 episodes or something. Oh, uh, right, so it was early on in the day. Well, so. I don't know. There was quite a few episodes to listen to, and I literally just went through all the episodes overnight. Yeah. I went, Manchester sounds fab. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, they're really selling Manchester to me. <laughs> Honestly, dogging this. Dogging that, yeah. no, cruising no. this, cruising that. that. You can get pissed. Property developers, and they there. even, <laughs> yeah, and they even were mentioning Bob, and I was like, "Who's this Bob?" Oh, yeah. Bob. Um, and I just remember being like, "Yeah, it sounds fab." So then I went to Manchester Pride that year, and I was like, "This is it." It's your mecca. This is it. <laughs> yeah. I'm ready. She was praying to it for years. Yeah. yeah. And now she was yeah. there. Honestly, yeah. I was she was on her own knees, but I don't know about that. <laughs> yeah. yeah so and the rest not... is history. And the wow. rest is history now, yeah. We, me and Billy both work, um, well, I work there occasionally. Billy works there every night at um, Cruise 101 in Manchester. Yeah. And I walked in and the manager goes, oh, here she is, Georgie Beard. Oh, I Georgie thought, Beard. Here we go. And she went, they're all getting a beard on. now, aren't they? Do you know what? Because you didn't have a beard when you first came to Manchester. Oh, then, here we go. Oh, you didn't, you was baby faced. I was baby faced. And now it's more rugged and like rough and ready. Do you know what I realise? More what? people want to f me. Well, now I've got a beard. 
Even today, I nearly got well, bent over about 12 times in Croatia. But also yeah. because you are on a ship and there's very limited amount of games, yeah. so it could be yes. that as well. It could be Let's Sister Shaggy put... season, let's be honest. Yeah. <laughs> 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 Fuck you! Yeah, that this was a bad idea inviting you two here at the same time. <laughs> Jesus, Jesus! But Billy, tell us. I would like to know how you got started DJing on Canal Street because there's not many DJs that work on Canal Street. No, and I think it helps that I was a manager of a nightclub on mm. Canal Street. Manager, yeah. and then yeah, Man- what? Suit, suit, manager, yeah. manager, suit, suit, manager, manager, <laughs> and then um, one of the DJs phoned in sick, and I was like, I've been practicing as a DJ. That. I was like. Give me a go. I'll do it for five pounds an hour. Yeah. Anyway, <laughs> I did it for minimum wage. Um, I was like, I was like, just Still do it. Like <laughs> 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 so then that's how I got into it. And then I just started to post on my Instagram and then I got kids elsewhere. And then it was actually after COVID that I was in more demand, I think. Yeah. I don't know why. I think it's because I put a few mixes out during that time. Yeah. So yeah. I was like, bored shitless. So yeah. I was like, do you know what? I'll stick some mixes out. And then Cruise 101 contacted me and a few other venues did. Did and you then... work in Cruise 101 before COVID? Oh, no, darling. I didn't that, know that. That was a dream of mine. I was like, oh, it's wow. my dream to work at Cruise yeah. 101 in Manchester. And then... <laughs> and then you did a Thursday with Bob and you thought, fuck this. <laughs> Do you know what? That was like, I was like, I could die happy now. I've worked at Cruise. Um, and now yeah. I'm on a oh, cruise, fair. which and is like... I know. Insane. Yeah. I remember, well, I, remember I, was, well, I was walking into Cruise 101 and Billy was there and, and he went, I never guessed what. And I went, what? He went, I'm going on a cruise. I went, which bloody one? And he told me, and I went, I'm going on that one too. I know. It was such a weird coincidence. I know. Yeah. That meant to be. (laughs) Yeah. It's so weird because there's so many Manchester gays that come on this ship as well. Mm -hmm. I've met so many Mm. people. It's crazy. Yeah. Yeah. It's like they're advertising on Canal Street or something. Our power. Our, our, like, we have, we have yeah, put that's done that. That's it, that's specifically you know because of you. Us two. Screaming Honestly. your gob out. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah, and I, when we were, last time, the last ship I worked on, we were out of Barcelona, mm. and Billy, his boyfriend Morgan, Bob, Bob's mum, our friend Lulu, um, all came on a voyage. It was great. Just the sailors. Good. I loved tour. that. It that was, was so great. much fun. Was... I had, I honestly had the best time that time. No, it was Lovely. Losh. I think actually, the funny thing was you say about you editing as well, because she, Titty edits it all yeah. times of the day in all different positions and all different places. That's I right. remember once I walked past the sun lounger on that voyage <laughs> and Billy, you were bloody editing the podcast. Yeah. You've got I to actually, do it, haven't yeah, you? you've got to do it as and when you can. And yeah. you know what? Sometimes it's like, I can't be fucking asked. Yeah. I'm telling you. It's, you said earlier, it's a big commitment. It is. And it yeah. is. That's what Me I mean. Me and to... Danny are <laughs> you, <they're laughs> cruising. You're literally just floating past. Yeah. Do you know what? As well, I saw you setting it all up and yeah, everything. Oh, what? she sat there like Lady Muck. 100% Legs Danny did the same. I used to just Waiting for me up. to run around, plug everything That's in, test the, the levels, proper, twist it all on. Yeah. In the relationship, the proper professional drag queen that works on the lounge <laughs> uh, is the one. <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, remember I'm manager, so we talk. Uh, <laughs> I manage the social media, and it's only got a hundred followers, but that's what I manage. I haven't posted. And when was the last time you posted? Yeah. yeah. But yeah. that's what I he said. Do. I'll do. They said I'll do social media. I was like, oh great, don't need yeah. to worry about that then. It's no. been deactivated for about three years. <laughs> right, I'm gonna post <laughs> something tomorrow. Yeah. Might hurt me fingers, but I'll bloody do it. <laughs> Let me tell you. Now, I want to get used to opinion on something. Go right? on. Go on. I want to know your opinion on straight men. Get rid. Put them in the bin. Yeah. Put yeah. Throw, I'll tell bin. you what. 100%. Throw them in a box. Throw it in a box and fuck it. Yeah. <laughs> get, get rid. <laughs> I'll tell you why. I'll tell you for why. Go, Go on. on. So, obviously, now I'm single and I'm living my best life. Right? Yeah. Um, I've just become good friends with a straight man. Right. Now, he's not interested in me. More than I'm, good friends. I mean... See, I've seen some... I know exactly what you're talking about. And I've seen some of the um, the messages back and forth. Right. And I'm telling you, if he's straight, then you're a bloody good drag queen. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you nasty so do, girl. <laughs> so do with that information what you will, Miss Georgie Bulger. <laughs> I do love having a flirt. Yeah. But I reckon if somebody's flirting back, like what if they're It depends how invested straight, exactly. you are. Yeah. Because yeah. if you're all up for a bit of fun then great, but if you're getting your heart broken again 
I'm not going to be here picking up the bloody pieces. <laughs> again, again. You didn't pick up any pieces. She wouldn't even hug me. Yeah, well, I I'm, was. Oh, I can't I get. Too, in, I can't get too invested. Oh. I was stood in here, yeah. heartbroken. This is about three weeks. Ago. Without yeah. your love. I was yeah. stood in here. Yeah, heartbroken. Without I was like, your, oh, yeah. titty. I was crying. Was crying and she was like. Oh, right, so we'll record tomorrow then instead. Yeah. <laughs> I said, have a tissue, you look like a right mess. And then Honest, I walked out. Honestly. <laughs> I no. just think tread carefully. Yeah. That's all I'm going to say. Yeah. Absolutely, yeah. You're right. Well, it's one of my favourite times. We're going to introduce you to one of our new features here on Up The Off, Billy. Go on. This is Below Dick, okay? Mm. So much like the popular TV show Below Deck, Deck. um, we're going to give some scandalous secrets that have been sent in anonymously from some crew members on cruise ships. That's right. Now, it's definitely not from crew members that work on the cruise line we work for. Absolutely. Right, But they're just anonymous from any other cruise line. You know, a bit of juicy gossip from things going on below the waterline. And it definitely is anonymous. This comes in from Julie, who works for (laughs) 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 P&O. No, no, no. no. So not Julie from not P&O. Yeah. (laughs) As this is, I accidentally once fell into the captain's cabin, then into his bed, and then he fell into... Well, you know what I mean. Wouldn't be a problem if his wife wasn't my manager (gasps) in the spa. Oh, Oh, no. And listen, you want to get good with the people at the spa because they can really help you out. Yeah. So can the fucking captain. Yeah, that's true. (laughs) I'd rather get in with the captain. I remember I worked with a photographer and she was really young and the captain was this old, smelly, fat guy, right? (laughs) And she (laughs) goes, I didn't know you had your captain license. (laughs) (laughs) You nasty Ah. Honestly. Honestly. Yeah, but you think this she's doing right. Yeah, but get in yeah. there, girl. Get that bathtub. No, but seriously, she yeah, she was like, Oh, he's inviting me up to watch some films on his hard drive or that that he has. Yeah. Anyway, she ends up going up there, having a fab time. She comes down the next week, boyfriend and girlfriend, now they're married and they've got a kid. Oh fuck. Oh. I think she's like twenty five years Love younger it. than him. Love it. And he honestly looks like a troll. And she's beautiful. <laughs> Do you know what? He must have money. Oh yeah. oh yeah, there we go. Hundred yeah. percent. There we go. Then. Well, there's an, we actually do have another one oh, here. This is one from day. an anonymous crew member also, and it reads: "I was having sexy time in the cabin, and then we decided to use some toys. I was new in the anal game, so I had a mini-sized butt plug. We had so much fun. Well, first of all, that's good to hear. <laughs> <laughs> but later, after we finished, we couldn't find it." Long story short, I had to go to medical and they did x-rays to find it. It's in my record still and it has not been found. (gasps) No! (laughs) No! (laughs) (laughs) What? So there's a crew member on it. By the way, for context, it, you, the doctors and the nurses, you might end up the next day sitting next to them eating in the crew your dinner. mess, eating yeah. your dinner. Yeah, and they've been all up inside your giblets. What the hell? Yeah. And it's never been found. Not been found to this day. So that's, was that's it, the was it the inside them or no? Well, I'm assuming so. Long story short, I had to go to medical. They did x-rays to find it. It's in the medical records, obviously, and it's not been found. So every time this person goes in for a toothache, for a headache, comes yeah. up, it comes up and it says x-rays to find butt plug. An identified <laughs> object still lodged in anal canal. Yeah. What the hell? Why has that not come out? I'm concerned for this person. Well, I wonder, if, I wonder if they've actually, you know, gone to the toilet and mistaken it for it. Well, no, because you can, I mean, even if it's a mini one. I know, yeah. You I mean, know, it's not you? a thimble, is it? Come on. Well... Let's hope not. Well, you'd be surprised. Honestly, Titty lost a broom up there last yeah. week. <laughs> Still Honestly, got it in. Just trying to sweep. Yeah. <laughs> well, well, I mean, the bottom line of that is they had a great time. Yeah, as we long had as they so had a great fun. time. Oh, well, fab. Yeah. Just worth it. It's worth else. it in yeah. my case. <laughs> One it. day they'll end up doing a big cough from COVID. <laughs> I was just going to say, they're going to sneeze and it's going to shoot out across the deck. Yeah. yeah. And yeah. if you do, send it in. Send us a picture. <laughs> Well, if you do have any anonymous things you'd like to send in to yes. me and tips, then um, of course all you need to do is message us at, at up the aft on Instagram. That's right, just for crew members though, only yeah. on a ship. We do yeah. accept um, Isle of Wight ferries. Yeah, yes. we do. Yeah, but Isle of Man, fuck yourself. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> 
Well, we've got a bit of a surprise for you, Billy, to make you feel at home. Yeah. Just right. for one week and one week only, because it is <laughs> okay. probably copyrighted. Yeah. <laughs> We're going to have snack of the day. Now, obviously, you call it something else. On yeah, the we case, call it snack of the week. But we don't, I can't say it because what? I might get in trouble. Yeah. Yeah, well, I have got the producers writing up a... Um, a lawyer's letter. Oh, right. As, as, we, as, speak. We, speak. as we speak. As we speak. As we yeah. speak. Now, well, tell I'm... them to throw it in a bottle. It'll make its way over to yeah. us. We'll get yeah. It. <laughs> yeah. Just throw it in a Listerine bottle. Throw it into the canal. It'll throw be it here. in a box. And hey, throw it in a box and fuck it. I love that one. I'm sorry. I love it. Honestly. It's my gonna, favorite sound. What did we say last podcast? Gonna get You're going to get ten in, Yeah. yeah. <laughs> okay, so. So, um, snack of the day. Snack of the day. Yeah. So, what I've done is I found this chocolate that I had a long time ago and I was obsessed with it. Ooh. How long ago? It was, must have been like 2017 I worked in Greece. Right. So it was like 2017, right? You specifically got off the ship to hunt this town for this section? Well, not, yeah, I'm going to say yes, but yeah. I brought five bars of it. And is, <laughs> this, <laughs> is, uh, is this something you can only buy in Greece? It is, yeah. Interesting. It okay. is, yeah. So I found it, and what it is, wait, I'm going to hand it out. I'm going to hand yeah. it out. I've Fab. given you two. It's not two even got gloves on, look at that. Right. Gorgeous, thank you. Oh, and it's yeah. a filled, it looks, oh, it's, it it's, looks filled I'm on just going to describe view. it for the listener. Yeah. yeah. It's chocolate on the outside, and it looks to me like wafer or biscuit in the middle. Well, it's, yeah. Oh, it's, there's also a bit of a lighter chocolate on the inside so, as well. I mean, it smells called... lovely. Oh, Billy's taking a bite. Oh. You have to go for it. You've had to go straight this in there, This is called Lecter Big Time Strawberry <laughs> Cheesecake. <laughs> <laughs> a strawberry cheesecake filled milk chocolate. Lecta, lecta, lecta. Mm. Hannibal wow. lecta. I've never had anything like this before. I think it's Ooh. bloody gorgeous. Oh, and there's the pop of strawberry under that. Mm. There's jam in there. It's wow. Jamming. Yeah. That is a bloody taste sensation. I normally don't like chocolate and fruit together, but that is a taste sensation. It <laughs> Absolutely. is. That cr- and the crunch of the biscuit as well. It's like a, a cheesecake's shrunk down. Honestly, I just don't think you can do better than that when it comes to Greek chocolate. No. <laughs> no. I agree. That is my first Greek chocolate, and I'm not looking back. In yeah. the category of specifically Greek chocolate with a wafer in the middle, <laughs> yeah. that's the best. Agreed. Yeah, yeah. in a red packet. <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, I've got five bars of that in my cabin. Oh. How well, much did, did it cost a bar? About two euro. That's not bad. Big bar. That is a big bar. Wait, let me have a look. It's made by... That's nice as well, because it just slides right down your throat, doesn't it? It does. Milk chocolate with strawberry cheesecake, cream filling and biscuits. That's bloody lovely. Stunning. Stunning. Talk dirty to me. We'll have another bar of that. But I will tell you, Greeks do know how to do their sweets, because... A few weeks ago. Balakalava. Oh, well, a balakalava as well. But also, they have this thing called an orange cake or an orange pie. Right. I don't know if you've tried it. It's usually it's got like a candied orange on top yeah but it's almost like a moist madeira cake and it's a weird texture it's like a ricey texture it's not a sponge cake when i tell you the first time i had that it was like freshly baked family run restaurant oh <laughs> shove it in me gob <laughs> shove it in me gob i had i must have had four wow. literally i said bring another one bring another one well <laughs> talking <laughs> of that <laughs> La- <laughs> last night. Absolutely incredible. And every time I go off, I look for this orange pie cake. Really? Have you had it since? I bloody have, and it's absolutely bloody oh, gorgeous. Wow. We'll it's have to downfall. get one together. I'll, that'll be the next snack of the track. Snack of the track. <laughs> snack, of the track. <laughs> <laughs> snack of the ding dong. <laughs> that'll be the next snack snack on deck snack. I yeah. Really well, it's Crew funny yeah. you talk about shoving things in your mouth, Tits, mm. because last night, me and yeah. Tets ended... Me and Tets. Me Tets. and, and Tetnus Kaka. <laughs> Me and Tiddy Gaga. Yeah. You don't see her much. Yeah, she's dead. Um, <laughs> she died of tetanus, actually. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> tetanus elbow. Yeah. Um, we ended up. She got it our... from playing tetanus. All right, Tiddy, Sorry. that's enough. <laughs> that is enough. Honestly. <laughs> um, Tits, can you see that floated in over there? I can, yeah. Do you want to. Actually, Billy Love, reach out. Grab Do you it want for to reach into that water. a message in a bottle. Open it up, will ya? Will oh, you? Oh, oh, oh. Oh, oh my face. Yeah. Right, let me read it. Throw it over here, Billy. That's it. Oh, we missed. <gasps> oh. Um, <laughs> Day start throw. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Hey, girls and Billy, I need help. My name is Trudy and I'm from Sluttington. Oh. It's close by to Salford. There oh, you yeah. go. I've got a problem that I need you to solve. Me and my husband are absolutely obsessed with each other. 
but we just went through a stage where we didn't have a lot of sex due to arguments. And then last month, we started having sex everywhere and anywhere, and it's become a problem. Ooh. We both work in the same supermarket, and we've been shagging in the bin store, the fridges, and even the meat room. <laughs> Won't be an issue, but we've been caught a few times by senior management. We've even had sex on the bus to work, in the toilets at our daughter's play school. Where <laughs> is it going to end? We just can't keep our hands off each other and we're either going to lose our job and end up being sex addicts. What <laughs> do you think? I'll tell well, you where it'll bloody end, love. Prison. Yeah. Yeah, at that yeah. rate. Honestly, first of all, you don't need to do it in the toilet at the preschool. No. Do you know what I mean? Just Bit do far. it in the Bit preschool. Too much. Oh, <laughs> oh, yeah. Teach yeah. the kids something. Do it in the playground where everyone can see. Yeah, and Make use of that roundabout. She's actually sent in some pickies of them. Oh, um, nice. Having sex on holiday here, it looks like, at Butlins. Lovely. Um, yeah, so they've obviously, you know, they're experienced. Well, let's just say they're making full use of the amenities there. Yeah, yeah, they've even brought a Karma Sutra with them. Uh-huh. Um, <laughs> it up. But I don't think there's anything wrong with having lots of sex. No, it, it just depends where it's done. That's I the problem. I think is the issue. Yeah. Yes. yeah. Have you had sex in any weird places, girls? Yeah, in my mouth. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> that's, that's quite a strange one, isn't it? Billy's actually just putting a big ancient scroll with all the places uh, yeah, right now. Like, anywhere oh. and everywhere. But you know what? I've, I've not recently... Yeah, I've 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 termed it stuck in. to the bed. Well, I've done it in my house everywhere. Oh, yeah, do you right. know because because like, when I first bought my house, we were like, we need to do it in every room. Yeah. Isn't it weird that like, that is like a thing that you have to do like that. You got to Chris like, in every room. We have to do it in every room. Have you completed it though? Yeah, in one day we did it in every room. Do you have at the same time? Do you have any like small cupboards or like under the stair spaces? We've that not you done have to it do under it the stairs. That yeah. is a room that could still, still be... Still needs to be ticked off. Yeah, there, I don't, you know, I don't think there's an issue with the sex. It's where you're having it. If you're it's having it in the it. meat store... That's oh. not hygienic, really. It's not. No. The meat room is not in hygienic. Also, oh, it's cold. Would it not shrivel up? <clears throat> what, the meat? <laughs> <laughs> the other meat. Oh, right. <laughs> I guess it bloody such... would, wouldn't it? Well, it probably would. Nipples I mean... would be hard, though. Nipple. Well, there we listen, go. That's bit of nipple play. Yeah. Just a little bit of nipple play. Swing off them. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I just, in my opinion, shag wherever you want, yeah. whenever you, as long as you're not harming anyone else. Well, yeah. But I think if you're going to lose your jobs, I would, I would stop shagging at work. Or crack up a camera, start yeah. an OnlyFans. You don't need your job. <laughs> you don't Perfect. need a job. That there is the go. job. That is the job. Just become sex workers. That's your new job. Yeah. I've considered it a few times. And what, what stopped you from doing it? <laughs> uh, well, I, I've, I've set one up. Right. There's just no one subscribing. <laughs> Oh. Do you know what? This is a true story, and I'm dropping this on your podcast, right? <laughs> During lockdown, <gasps> I didn't have Explosive. a job for a little bit, right. so I was like, I was going to get a job at Direct Line, and it didn't look like it was happening, so I was like, well, well there's this website called Sleepy Boys, yeah. and it's where you can rent a boy. Yeah. So I got on there, right? And, then, and I was like, right, put my phone number in. <laughs> and while I was having my dinner with my mum, because I moved in with my mum's house, my phone was blowing up, and I was like, my mum was like, who's ringing? Who's this? And I answered it and they were like, yeah, mate, do you do like proper fat guys? And I went, uh, yeah. My mum was like, who's that? I went, no one, mum. And, <laughs> and then he was like, no, but proper fat though. And I was like, yeah, for, for the right price. And he yeah. went, how much? I went 500 quid. Anyway, then I went out with my sister the week after at beach and I was with like my nephew and like my niece and yeah. my phone was going <sighs> off. And I thought, do you know what? I'm just going to take my number off this website because I'm trying to have a nice family day and I've got people asking me to shag them. Yeah. And that's a true story. I never went through with anything, though. I was too scared. Oh, yeah, I bet. You know what I did? I got a job at Direct Line and then I did that instead. Yeah. <laughs> oh, wow. He, he was, but when he was at a Direct Line, he was taking the calls still for Sleepy Boys. <laughs> yeah. 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 He was call yes. centre manager. <laughs> manager Sleepy, Sleepy Boy Boys. manager. Yeah, yeah, I've signed up to Sleepy Boys before as well. I've never heard of this sign. Yeah. I've also done it just to see who in the area is on there because people right. put the pictures up. So I'm like, oh, how much are they charging? Yeah. yeah. Like, I want to know. Well, you've got to do the research, haven't you? Exactly. So you get your price right. You want to yeah. be competitive. Yeah. I'm yeah. like your price market, yeah. don't you? I want to give them a discount. <laughs> the only thing with that is you'd have to douche every day because you might be shopping in Aldi. You get a text, 600 quid. Get in now. Get on your knees. Yeah. yeah. Do you know what I mean? I'm not putting you glassing need... down 600 quid. It's spontaneous, isn't yeah. it? You need to watch what you eat then as well because... Well, that's it. Yeah. I, I mean, that is a full, full-time job, really. Yeah. yeah. Ready whenever. Yeah. Ready whenever. whenever. It's, I love it when you're like, 
oh, um, oh, I didn't know this was happening. Then they go down there and there's like, you know, a little sell by date on it. Yeah. Like, you know what I mean? Yeah. Talcum powder, yeah. cling film, there's a bow on it. Yeah. The there's a visit, visitor's book. Just yeah, yeah. Name yeah. Book. you yeah. open it up and someone says, oh, yeah. yeah. And there's a reception desk. Mm. Um, Hot towel. So basically what we're telling you, Trudy, yeah. is Going become a you, bloody Trudy. sex worker. Get on sleepy boys, Trudy, love. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Have Get a crack in up. time. If you want some advice, you can send us a message in a bottle. You can just write it out on a piece of paper, roll it up, throw it in a bottle, cork it, throw it in your nearest water source, and it will get to us quickly. Yeah, or alternatively, you can do what everyone else does and message us on Instagram, which is at up the aft. That's right, yeah. What does up the aft mean? Well, can aft is the back of a ship. So, so the back of the ship is an AFT, aft. Got, yeah. And obviously, it's yeah. a little play on words. Oh, yeah. The, you've thought about the name then? Yeah. yeah, well, well, we didn't just close our eyes and go. Ooh. Well, the alternative was going to be the gay boys, but boys spell. Oh, like. But... <laughs> and then I thought that's too boys. close to the fucking gossip too game. Close to, yeah. I said, Billy's going to go with fist <laughs> Yeah. Foo Fighters. Yeah. <laughs> Foo Fighters. Foo Fighters. Foo Fighters. This podcast is sponsored by Foo Fighters. Bloody hell. And, um, well, yeah. Billy, where can they find you on the old Instagrams, the Twitters, the OnlyFans, the whatever? Up, uh, sleepyboy.com. At, yeah, sleepyboy.com yeah. at DJ Billy Andrew on all social media. And check out my podcast, Gossip Days, um, at Gossip Days on all social media as well. Fab. Yeah. Fab. Fab. And, of Fab. course, you can find me at Miss Georgie Borgie UK. That's because she's never done a gig out of the country. And, yeah. <laughs> and you can find myself at titty underscore. Car car. underscore because she's very underwhelming That's right. yes well thank you for listening and billy thank you for oh, i've loved it thank you so much thank I've had you the best so time. much don't expect any money right we'll see you <laughs> next week everybody <laughs> bye everyone bye, bye. bye. Is he gone? Oh, I hope so. Is he gone? Yeah.